Counting is underway in the referendum to repeal the Eighth Amendment of the Irish Constitution, with a result due to be declared this afternoon. On Friday night, an exit poll carried out for the Irish Times by Ipsos, MRBI indicated a landslide victory for the yes side, with 68%, versus 32% for no. Early tallies in constituencies across the Republic have indicated a strong lead for the yes side and campaigners on both sides of the debate have been reacting to the forecasts on Saturday morning. Dr. Peter Boylan said this is a watershed moment for Irish women and a message to the 170,000 women who have had to travel outside this jurisdiction. The chair of the Institute of Obstetricians and Gynecologists said this was a message to this women that they are valued. This is about the women of Ireland and the couples of Ireland. He said he was not surprised by the scale of the result. Director of the National Women's Council and co-director of Together for Yes, Orla O'Connor thanked every woman and man in every town, village and county who came out and voted yes. Because this is phenomenal. This was a grassroots, people campaign and I think what today will show is that this is a people's referendum. Presuming that these exit polls are correct the public haven't just spoken, this is a resounding roar from Irish people about the horrors of the eighth and how women should no longer be treated as second-class citizens in our society. Today I think there will be an overwhelming feeling of relief, but also a very emotional one in terms of really being listened to and heard by the Irish public. Colm O'Gorman of Amnesty International Ireland commended the decades of campaigning and activism that led to the referendum. The scale of the indicated win in this is just phenomenal. We are just incredibly proud and honored to have been part of this campaign. What I'm struck most by is that this win is the result of decades of campaigning and activism by a very wide range of organizations and activists going on now for a very long time, he told RTE's Morning Ireland. But today's vote is mainly the result of the courage and integrity of women and families who have spoken out about the harm and suffering that they experienced because of the Eighth Amendment. Dublin Southwest Solidarity TD Paul Murphy said the projected result was a political earthquake. It's such a rejection, driven by young people and by women, of an Ireland of the past, of domination of the Catholic Church, of oppression of women, he said. People are looking for a very different type of society and it should send a clear message. It's a rejection of dishonest lies, both the conservative right in Ireland which has had so much power for so long that their time is gone. The Irish Family Planning Association has said it is committed to providing abortion care in Ireland. Today is a transformative day for women's health and reproductive rights. IFPA Chief Executive Niall Bean said, The people of Ireland have righted a historic wrong. The yes vote ends decades of stigma, shame and silence around abortion and unintended pregnancy. It ends the rejection and abandonment of women by the state. Tara Flynn, Irish actor, writer and yes campaigner, said in a Twitter thread, This is our home. Not some fictional 70s postcard hiding misery and shame. This proud, young, progressive, kind country is our home. There's a lot to fix. But now we know we have the people power to fix it. Minister for Education Richard Bruton has said the projected scale of the yes vote to repeal the Eighth Amendment was impressive, and early tallies in his constituency appeared to confirm the exit polls. Mr. Bruton said based on the scale of the decision people have made, it's fairly clear that they favor change. People did not see the referendum campaign as one led by the government, he said. Parties weren't taking a prominent position, so I think voters made up their own minds which I think is the strength of this decision, he said. 
Caroline, who traveled to Liverpool with husband for it to rumination after FFA diagnosis during the campaign, this is a very emotional day for my family, I'm hoping that this will give us further closure for our grief, really hope that young women like myself won't ever have to go through the same journey that we had. I'm glad to say that I've just given birth to my little girl since I last spoke to you. Things are really looking up for my family, she told Morning Ireland. I knew all my family and friends and anyone that I spoke to about my story was going to vote yes, but I was very anxious. I regret that anxiety now, because I really should have trusted the people of Ireland, I'm so pleased that everybody in Ireland is very informed, they're very educated and they really do. Have hearts of gold, John McGurk, spokesman for Save the Eight, told the Irish Times he had made peace with the result, acknowledging it is an overwhelming majority for yes side. Declan Ganley, entrepreneur and anti-abortion campaigner, said on Twitter, when due to the snuffing out of their human rights, the first of countless thousands of Ireland's unborn children are killed in Irish clinics or hospitals, all those that voted no can at least know you fought the good fight to try to save those little ones. Rose All, Cora Sherlock, spokeswoman for the Love Both campaign, this is a very sad day for Ireland that people have voted for abortion. We need to remember what they have won, she told RTE's Morning Ireland. All that is being offered is abortion. There has been no talking about why Irish women travel, what options could have been put on the table. She said that the last time a proper discussion on alternative possibilities to abortion had taken place had been 20 years ago. Ms. Sherlock paid tribute to pro-life campaigners, we will regroup, we will reorganize to ensure the safety of mothers and babies in Ireland, Maeve O'Hanlon of the Love Both campaign said Tasha. Leo Varadkar had promised there would be restrictive abortion if people voted yes in the referendum and he should now honor that commitment in whatever legislation is brought before the Dale. We have had very little discussion in this entire debate about the 97% of abortion that take place for socio-economic reasons and very little discussions on why women have abortion and what we can do to bring those numbers down, said Ms. O'Hanlon. We have heard nothing in recent months but about these rare tragic cases that we all have compassion for. For me whatever happens today it's been a missed opportunity to address the underlying reasons why women have abortions. Anne Rabbit, Fianna Fale's Children and Youth Affairs spokeswoman, who advocated retaining the Eighth Amendment, said, Democracy has rolled and the Eructus should now support the will of the people by legislating for abortion. I think this tells us we are no longer a conservative society, she said. I think we might be traditional but we are not conservative, and I also think the fact that there was such a fantastic turnout yesterday gives an overwhelming, resounding support. Independent TD Michael Healy Ray commented, I voted no because of firmly held beliefs. The people voted the way they did, now it is over to the legislators. We will have to look at what the minister will do in the Dale. The people have spoken.